Okay. Right, we're continuing this. So <laughs> He's clearly gonna have to do a lot of editing on this yes, video. Yes, I, I will have to edit, but you know what? It's all good, you know? You will take that same energy and transform it into... Julian, so we started off this thing with, I said about our flight attendant journey, mm -hmm. but we're using our journey to use as an inspiration and sharing and also connection for the purpose of other people viewing this, you know guys? We all on our journey for the doctors out there, the lawyers, the, the cleaners, the vendors, everybody. Your life is your experience. Everyone has a journey. And, and I mean, a specific purpose or something specific to contribute to the entire yeah. vastness of it. As we were talking about earlier, like, you mm -hmm. know, it doesn't matter, like, you know, in our travel, go for our travels, you know, mm -hmm. happen things speaking. pretty much Talk every, every corner of the world. You know, um, it doesn't matter whether you're black, white, Asian, whether you're wealthy, you're poor. It doesn't matter like your socioeconomic status, what background you come from. Like in our travels, we've learned that like human beings, there, there's a commonality you know, um, with us and we're all more alike than we are different. And ideally, like we're all searching for the same things. We yes. really are like fundamentally all human beings, you know, we want to be loved, we want to be able to provide for our families, you know, we want to leave a mark on the world when we're gone, like, like we, we all want the same things and that's the bottom line, you know? That's the bottom, this is the bottom line. We all aspiring on the same, to the, the same, same thing. Yeah. We all want to just be happy, happy. we want yeah. peace of mind, we want to feel safe, we all just want to be respected to be loved, we want to eat, we want to drink, we want to be merry. Yeah. That's all we're looking for. I mean, you know, the, the expensive car, the big house, the luxury bag, sunglasses, clothing, all that. All those are by the way things, you know, because we, we live in this world, so I think that we're all, for the most part, susceptible to the whole, you know, um, materialism and consumerism and, just, and everything mm -hmm. within this world. Mm -hmm. But the fundamentals of what we all want as human beings are exactly the same. Exactly. Going back to the materialism, I want to add to what you said there because a lot of people say, oh, I'm not materialistic and I'm this. And I say to people, look around you, wherever you are on this earth, the earth provides min uh, minerals, it provides a lot, trees, cotton, mm -hmm. plastic, whatever, sorry, rubber, it, it provides. We are human beings living on this earth with creative minds. We take Absolutely. those same things, we, sub we extract them from the earth or we take them from the whatever is around us and we create things yeah. for each other to enjoy. So at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with materialism as long as you don't get, you don't make it your idol, you don't of make course, it master yeah. and control you. We are, like mm -hmm. I said, we are, you know, living we are in this world, mm -hmm. so you're going to partake in the things that bring you comfort. Of comfort course, and you joy, know, yeah. you work, you know, you earn your money, mm -hmm. you know. Um, by all means, you know, have all the days, yeah. purchase those things that are going to bring you joy. Mm -hmm. Like you said, as long as it's not like your number one priority in it. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not it doesn't overtake you, it doesn't control you. Exactly. You know, you know, there's a part where the, the Bible, we come from the Christian background where it says, the love of money is the root of all evil. I think most people misunderstand that. I'm going a little religious here. The thing is, people miss the love part. The love part. And it's referring to love as an obsession. And, oh my God, I'll hurt you because... I'll lie on you on, on the job so I could get the promotion. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll cheat you so I could get ahead. That's what it's talking about. It's not talking about the, uh, the respect for it, the honoring of the money, and, uh, and putting it into appropriate use. I think that ultimately people have to ask themselves, mm -hmm. you know, who am I mm -hmm. without the money, without mm -hmm. the Gucci, without the Prada, without, you know, the BMW, the Mercedes, what? Who am I when all that stripped back? Stripped back, yeah. That's what's important. That's what's most important at the core. Who am I? Yeah. And the question is, do you know who you are? And yeah. most people say, well, I don't know. Well, go on a search. Yeah. When I'm in my flight, was you know, we flight attendants. Well, I'm an ex-flight. It's funny now. I'm saying I'm an ex. I used to be a flight attendant. Imagine I was a young dreamer. I want to be a flight attendant. Now, I'm a, I used to be. It's beautiful to, you know. And the thing is as well, ultimately, um, I know I've been asked, where is your favorite place on earth? I said, myself. I went into the world to meet myself because by meeting different, um, different cultures, variety, 
um, religions, theories, mentalities, just a lot of things, you know. I came to realize as it was contributing to the, the growth of myself yeah. and the elevation of me. Ultimately, we were here to, we all connected in some That's way. That's such an interesting go. point you made mm -hmm. uh, about going into the world to meet yourself. I mm -hmm. think it's, um, I'm pretty sure it was in Young Fansan that said mm -hmm. the only relationship that we're having is the relationship with ourselves. True. Every other relationship in your life is really just a mirror that reflects your relationship with you. With yourself. Wow. Young Fansan, by the way, she's one of the people I used to listen to years ago. Right? Incredible, incredible. Incredible lady, you know. If you, mm -hmm. I don't know, if you've been under a rock and you have no idea who Inya Levanzan is, please go out and pick up one of yeah, her books, true. you know, watch one of her I shows, to to listen to audio, whatever, mm -hmm. she will change your life. Character. Yeah, she inspired me a lot, by the way. What, you know, when I was in, um, in my teens, I used to read her books and stuff, and yeah. she really made a positive impact on my life. Wow, 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 wow. Julian, it's, I mean, we could go on and on because our, our 18 year um, connection has so much to that beyond just the few the, the night stops i mentioned yeah. that we mentioned here and the few snippets we shared from our understanding of mm -hmm. life and stuff but we could go on and on about this but let me tell you eh? wow it's just this is this for me is a is a demonstration of life can or not can be life is beautiful life mm -hmm. really is alive it is life it's, and it is beautiful i mean you know I, just to be alive is beautiful mm -hmm. Because dreams come true and wow, okay, yeah. I'm getting. Are you hitting me yet? I'm. It's just a little, a little drink we have in the little coconut thing. Yeah, it's definitely not milk and coffee. <laughs> yeah, probably not the best idea. <laughs> yeah, to start drinking before and during um, and in, a recording. A recording. So, <laughs> nah, yeah, I, I bear with us. I is a Russian guy, so there. How much <laughs> rum? How much rum that I have in it? Let me see. Rum, coconut rum cream. Um, oh, 12.5. Oh, come on. 12.5%. That ain't nothing. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> but no, um, ah. yeah, there's, I just, you know, I think we need hours of recording, really, to just sort of cover everything. Um, do you remember, not interrupting you, do you remember, why we're doing this? You know, I'm remembering right now. When you and I in Barbados went to that school, the children were in the first or second year, I think kindergarten or the first grade. And the two of us went to the school to make a presentation. I was based in Antigua still, and you were still based in Barbados, and I came up, No, I was based in Barbados already, and they called us to talk to the students. I think I and yes, this. And then this I used to I have the worst memory of That's the thing. I, I have a very vivid memory, by the way. Yeah. I, I forget all the nonsense, and I treasure the good things. And those students were going, I remember saying to them, this gentleman here, he's from Barbados. Liat is based in Barbados. The head office is Antigua. I said, I am from St. Lucia. And when I was asking I questions. Think I, I think I do vaguely yeah. remember that. When I yeah. asked the questions of children, I said, where are you from? St. Lucia. Where am I from? St. Lucia. Where is um, Liat's um, head office? Antigua. Where is Mr. Julian Griffith? And uh, I'm from, and where is um, Liat, second base? They went, Barbados. They were so proud. I was like, eh. <laughs> so, sounds familiar. I remember it was some school in St. Michael. It was actually in St. Michael. Oh. I, I, I remember it, you know? And look now we're on camera talking to people I out know, there. Right? Yeah, man. Who anyway, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Brother, I appreciate you. And as 18 always, years. 18 as years. As 18 as years later. 18 years. years. <laughs> Here's to another 18 years. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. It's been a very interesting journey. You know, lots have happened. You know, when we met, we were kids. We were kids, yeah. yes. You know, we're yes. Yes. all grown up, hard and wow. toughened wow. by the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Nice talking to you guys. We're about to go get lit. We have the boat right thing. That's going to be actually 20 minutes. So we perfect timing. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, guys. Sure thanks we'll for see watching. You again soon. Yeah, yes. thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm.